Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 and I wanted to show you guys a, uh, a little cheap thing that I picked up off eBay um, with some eBay bucks uh, certificate that I had saved up. Um, so this guy was about maybe $10 or something like that. It's uh, one of these USB arc lighters and I don't smoke or anything but just the fact that this is essentially, you know, a, sort of like a taser. It's a high voltage um, device that you know is rechargeable so here it has a USB micro port there's a little blue light that lights up when it's charging turns off when it's done there's a button here and uh, yeah so let's uh, see you can see here it's actually um, stepping up there's a lithium ion battery in here about 150 milliamp hours it's uh, using a small uh, transformer and when you press the button here it actually generates a high enough voltage uh, that's maybe about I don't know it's like uh maybe a fifth of an inch or something like that um and there's actually high enough voltage that it can spark it can uh you know break down the air ionize it and uh, generate a spark that can jump that far which is pretty cool so uh this thing I will not be setting anything on fire in this video unfortunately um I'm pretty sure my apartment would uh you know the people who run the apartment would definitely not enjoy that um, but yeah, definitely, uh, gets hot enough to, you know, to ignite stuff. Um, that's kind of its main purpose, but also it's so cool. You can hear the very high frequency whine. So we're going to do a quick teardown of this and I'll show you guys a modification I've done on it. Um, I really don't have a purpose for this other than the fact that it's pretty neat. Uh, I got it for pretty much free essentially. Um, and why not? <laughs> So yeah, the shell is, uh, it seems to be made of some kind of anodized um, metal. It's actually, it, it's not aluminum. It's probably uh, steel or some kind of iron-like material because it's actually pretty weighty. Um, so the modification I did, the, the button actually rattles a bit when I first got it. So I took some blue painter's tape. Pretty much any tape will probably work. And I taped the button in there to keep it from falling out. And I put a little bit on the, the button itself here. So we get it zoomed in so okay so here's the 3.7 volt uh let's see 220 milliamp hours i kind of doubt in this size that it would actually be that capacity it's probably like 150 milliamp realistically um but anyway nonetheless um this is something that you use occasionally so i mean this will last quite a while um even at that that current so here you have a small uh, pcb there's a small sot 23 size uh chip in there and that's for the uh, USB regulations right next to the USB input. So that does the, uh, it handles the charging of the lithium battery. Um, next to that is a, uh, presumably a MOSFET, um, right in here. Uh, where's my pointer? Uh, yeah, I'm going to try not to short things. Uh, there's a MOSFET transistor in here. Um, a fairly large, uh, 43 ohm, um, high wattage resistor. Uh, right next to it here and um, that's probably the base resistor and there's some uh, copper wire that goes to the transformer this is a transformer here there's going to be a uh, a primary and a secondary so the primary is uh, going to be higher current lower voltage and the secondary is probably going to be uh, uh, center tapped or something like that and much higher winding uh, density so that you can step up that high um, the high voltage output. So interestingly enough, uh, this is actually hinged uh, with a detection mechanism. There's like a little uh, piece of metal and a spring and then another electrode uh, right in here. And that's what uh, detects whether the, uh, the lid is open or not, because if the lid is closed, it refuses to work. When it's open, it works. So that's pretty neat. Um, there's a kind of like a cam mechanism here. I don't know if that's what you'd call it. I'm not a Mackie, so... Um, essentially, like a little swivel thing with a spring in order to kind of give it that that spring action on the lid. Uh, the electrodes appear to be some kind of um, carbon with wires protruding uh, from it or something. Um, as far as I can see, and the wires themselves, you can see the high-voltage wiring is uh, kind of silverish. Um, yeah, so it looks like this... Uh, safety lid detection switch is in, in series with uh, the actual push button itself so it, it can't be activated when this is uh, closed 
So interesting things to note, this is probably a very simple oscillator just seeing by how few parts there are. So they're probably using the uh, feedback uh, feedback winding from the, the oscillator so that when you first press the button, it'll start charging up the primary and the secondary will also be energized from that, from the, the impulse that, that that button press initially gave. Um, and so it'll start building up a magnetic field um, in both coils. And so the purpose of the, the secondary is essentially to turn off the transistor once it saturates. Um, and then after that happens, a magnetic field collapses, um, and then it starts all over again. So this is a very simple oscillator just using a, um, a center-tapped um, you know, high, high boosting transformer. And you can see this transformer is absolutely tiny. Um, you can see the core material there. It's kind of darker. Um, and the rest is just potted. Um, and there's some yellow um, high, high voltage insulation tape there uh, so that, you know, nothing leaks across. Because at, at these voltages, this is probably generating maybe, I don't know, like a couple, th maybe like 5,000 volts, something like that, maybe 2,000. I, I don't know the exact voltage. Um, but at that voltage, uh, you, you have to be careful about isolating everything. Otherwise, you'll get uh, spark gaps uh, that'll occur here, not here, which is, you know, not, not exactly what you want. So anyway, let's just close this back up. And yeah, the uh, modification worked really well, actually, uh, because it rattled like heck before, but now there's absolutely no sound and it feels absolutely solid. So, you know, if you're a smoker and, you know, you usually use regular, uh, regular old, uh, lighters, this is actually pretty neat. Um, I love the finish. It comes in various colors. I got blue because that's my favorite color, of course. <laughs> but yeah, pretty neat. Um, this would be very useful also uh, if you camp or anything like that and you, you need to ignite kindling. Um, this would be very useful indeed. You just recharge it. Uh, if you have like a solar charger sort of thing, you can also use that to recharge this. So if you're going on an extended camping trip or you know you're into hiking or whatever and you need to set up a fire, uh, this would actually be pretty useful. Uh, you can see it's a absolute fingerprint magnet, though. <laughs> but I really don't mind. Um, overall, it's um, really cool. And yeah, no touch, no touchy. Um, that will give you quite a, a bad shock. Um, I saw a video of uh, 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 a couple people messing with these and touching it and, you know, not feeling so well, obviously. So this is relatively high voltage, even if it's low current. So you will feel that. Um, not to mention the fact that it's ionized uh, plasma, which is very, very hot. So I would highly advise not touching this. Anyway, this was just a quick video on a new toy that I got. And um, so, yeah. Um, as far as I'm aware, according to the counter on my channel, this is my 100th video. So I'd like to uh, just take a moment to thank all my viewers, all you guys. I never thought that we'd get this far, you know. I just started making videos on a whim of various projects I've been working on. And I had no idea that uh, already I'm up to like 760 subs, I believe. Um, already at 100 videos. I, I, I was surprised when I got to 50 videos, much less 100. So yeah, I'm going to try to keep keeping it going strong. I've had a few requests for uh, teardowns, and if it's something that I have already, um, yeah, why not? And I haven't done a teardown of it, of course I'll, I'll do a teardown. So I've had a request, namely of uh, N64, so when I get home I'll tear down my, uh, my fantastic uh, Jungle Green N64 just for the heck of it. And uh, I've had requests for uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 controllers, so I'll probably be doing a special on, on a comparison of a teardown of both of them simultaneously and comparing uh, build construction, quality, all that, all that jazz. Uh, so I'll probably be getting to that within the next few weeks, uh, hopefully if, if my workload uh, uh, settles down a bit. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a neat little toy that I got. Um, this is actually pretty cool. I think I'll, I'll put a link um, to the seller that I got this from down below um, if you guys are interested in picking up something similar, even if you're not a smoker. This is kind of a neat uh, toy to have, and it ranges in price from like 8 to 10 bucks, so that's really not that bad. I, I think this one was a little bit more uh, just because it's, uh, you know, 
the finish is, is a little nicer than the other ones that I've seen. But yeah, not that bad. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, down below, I've uh, started a Patreon, so if you guys want to, uh, you know, buy me coffee or or uh, pitch in for my next teardown or my next item, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.